Welcome fans of Flip Clocks and welcome fans of the AMC series Mad Men. We're going to talk about the flip clock that made an appearance, the Copal Model 229. This occurred in uh, Season 7, Episode 2, right at the beginning. There's Don turning off the clock. Uh, the alarm was supposedly going off. Um, and then he slept in. But um, the clock shows up twice in the beginning. It shows up uh, in Episode 9 as well. Just a couple small appearances, but it's really featured strongly here in Episode 2 of Season 7. And here's the clock in person. And it's a nice little clock. It has the day feature. Um, the clock in the film looks black, but I'm sure you couple didn't make a black one at the time. And there you see the model 229. The clock's a really nice little piece. This is uh, the alarm setting. You set that up to, um, to let the alarm go off. Now, if you had it set like Dawn did at 12, it's not going to go off at 7.30, so there was a little mistake in the movie there. Uh, it's not going to happen. The other thing is I don't think this clock was made until 1974, but I'd have to look into that a little more deeply, but I don't think it's uh, the right time period exactly. So um, we'll go ahead and power this clock on here, and you'll see that the clock has a nice uh, neon orange glow lamp that... Uh, really shows up best at night so it'll have an orange glow to it you can see there the indicator that shows that the motors working you can see that in the film if you look and on the bottom you can see um, the dial there that's the selector to to set the time it's kinda hard to get to we'll go ahead and set it to uh, where Don had it there or where he woke up there I'm not sure if that time had a significance to uh, to someone, but a lot of these things in that in that series, almost everything seemed to have a, a significance. So, for some reason, it was one, two, three, four. In the military, at that time, they'd say clocks up. Any little pattern, uh, a lot of people in the military would uh, make note of. But so clocks up at one, two, three, four. The button there uh, sets the time. Or the, I'm sorry, the day. So that's how you set the day. Now, that's uh, that knob there. If you want to take that off, you're just going to have to, to pull. It really doesn't have to come off if you're going to disassemble the clock, and that's which is what we're going to do right now. So there it is. Off it comes. This is the bugger. If you're taking the clock apart, you might get hung up there. It's a little might be a little leery of taking that off. It will hang up the case. It won't come off without it, but it's real simple. In this case, you just pull straight up. comes right off without any, any problem at all. So, further disassembly, we have to take the two screws down, so we'll go ahead and, and do that. Okay, two screws are out. Uh, kind of long buggers for a clock like this. The top part of the cabinet comes right off without difficulty. The front piece, the clear plastic, separates from this um, plastic, black plastic um, piece here. Allows for real easy cleaning. And here we have the internals. You can see the neon glow lamp really well. Uh, there's uh, one screw that has to be taken out here. The manufacturer did not put a screw there. Uh, I can tell that because there's no markings where the screw would have, when it when they screw down, I've had this clock apart once. But uh, there, there's the other screw. So in this case, there's three screws. That, there's the cord. Um, that just pops right out. But there's three screws that have to come out to get the mechanism out. Um, really easy. Not a problem. So we'll go ahead and take this down and get a better look. Now, I've, had a, I've got another clock, and I'm going to show you that the 229 comes in two variants. And I thought that was kind of interesting, and, and, and I, will th I believe the one on the left is the older um, version. I'm, would, I'd put money on it. So I'll show you what I know about the two clocks, uh, the two differences in these. We'll go ahead and de de power down there. Okay, <clears throat> so here we have the day indicator, and you'll uh, there's the button, and you'll notice that it's round. 
And here, on what I think is the older version, it's uh, heptagonal. There's seven-sided um, heptagon uh, instead of the wheel. It works exactly the same, just a shape difference. Uh, here, the motor housing is metal. Um, if you look here on what I think is a newer model, it's a clear plastic. So that's another difference, uh, the lights being exactly the same. Uh, here we have the indicator to tell what time the alarm's set for. You can see it's there uh, applied with a screw, and it's kind of longish. If you look here, there is no place for a screw, and the indicator pops right off. So that's another difference between what I believe is the older and the newer version. If you look at the cabinet, this is the cabinet for the older version, and uh, that came from some alcohol. I'd heard that that would do that, and I'm, I don't know if it's the paint or someone put wax on it, but... Um, it seems to come off, but that's not the issue with this, uh, what I believe is the older cabinet. Now what you're seeing there is some water. I actually cleaned that out. It was filthy. I didn't let it dry, but that's just water. But anyway, uh, the differences here are, are, are mild, but fairly evident. Um, there are tooling marks from when they made this thing that really show that they had done some extra tooling after they made the initial. I do believe it was the same thing, but you can see here on the um, the one in, uh, closest to you, there's an extra notch. And then there, the arrow is only a half arrow. And here, the arrow has, the head is full. And you can go through and find uh, the variant. You can see here at the bottom that there's a uh, base coat of paint on the bottom, whereas the other, that's just black plastic showing through. So here, this is really evident that this wood grain is painted on here. And... It scrapes right off. It doesn't seem to want to do that on the newer one, and I'm guessing they had to redo um, their plans here so that that wouldn't happen as much. Because on the newer model, what I think is the newer model, um, this doesn't happen. And that's the clear. There's you see, there's smooth black plastic under underneath there. There's other variants. There's other small changes they made. Uh, some structural things. Oh, you can. You, you can see, uh, well, there's a, well, there, there's a little stabilizer they built in to make it a little more stable in the back. It's missing there. Um, I don't think this, this is that important, but now here on the newer model, you get a, you got a Kawasaki, uh, gray plug, and then the older has the Totoku, um, black plug. Now in the, film I do believe in the series I do believe it has a black cord Now here we got another difference if you see the bottom or which I believe is the older you can see the base color here uh, kind of a brown without the um, wood grain in there it's just black that's the black plastic so it is um, the difference there of course that scratches off I'm not sure if all do of that era but it may. Now, there's a little slight difference here. You may be able to catch it or you may not. The older is on the top. The font's a little bit thicker. Uh, in person, you can really see that. But the, that's it's very hard to notice that difference. But that is a subtle difference of the two different versions. Now, these are the clock mount screws. There's only two from mine, uh, the, 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 the earlier one. And then the later one is smooth. The others have kind of a... Uh, grooves cut in. Um, it's just weird that they had those differences um, in design. And this is a little pamphlet I got off eBay at one time um, before I got a hold of these these clocks. And we can see the various clocks, the wonderful clocks they had. And here's the Copal 229. And you can see that it came in uh, in white, charcoal, gray, red, yellow, and wood grain, so it did not come in black. Um, it wasn't really common to have straight black clocks back back when they first started making these. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you at Flip Life.